Hey, welcome back to my channel. Okay, in today's video, I am gonna be making some melt and pour soap. A little while ago, you might have seen me try to do like an in the pot without the swirl. I'm gonna try that again today. This suspending base, loving this stuff. It's absolutely amazing. There's a one kilogram mold here. My fragrance is coconut lime. So I'm going to be using 2% of that, which is going to be 20 grams. For my colors, I've, I've got a whole container. So I've got like three of these containers. They're just full of micas. It's just everywhere, all over the place. There's so much of it, it's not funny. Um, so it was really hard for me to find three colors, but I think I've found them. Have a look at this. Okay, so my first color is sea mist. It's kind of like an aqua color. Really, really beautiful. One of my favorite colors of all the micas, I think. The next one is Blueberry Delight. These are from My Mica Obsession. Fantastic company here in Australia. Um, this is kind of like a blue sparkly color. It's absolutely gorgeous. And the last one, <laughs> which is a bit, I thought I'd throw in some white. You know, coconut, lime, blue, green, sort of white. And then I went, oh, I want to try something different. I want to try something really amazingly different. So I'm going with this. It's a gold mica. So hopefully it will turn out okay in the clear. It will turn out to be like a really nice gold color. I'm still not sure which of these three are going to be my main base. The aqua is screaming at me to say, please make me the base. I think the blue might be a bit too dark for it. And the gold, I don't know. Maybe the gold as the main base and then the blue and the aqua as like accent colors. I'm only going to do a small amount of each one of those though, because last time I did this, the two colors that I used, it was too overpowering. And it ended up, the whole soap ended up to be like completely black with a tiny little pink swirl. So I think I'm going to go with the gold and then have the aqua and the, the blue as accent colors. I'm going to go and melt this down and I'll be back. So my base is completely melted down. So we're at 133, which is 56. Pretty good temperature to start dividing these up. Uh, but before I do that, I'm going to add the fragrance to the entire mix. So my fragrance is added to the base now, and I can see like a little skin starting to form on top, which is really good in this case, because I want the base to be a little bit thicker than, um, than it was last time. It was a little bit too liquidy. The swirl wasn't really that great, to tell you the truth. I mean, it was nice, but it wasn't great. Pop some of those bubbles, make sure everything's all right. Okay, so the majority of this base is going to be gold. So I'm going to separate these two off. And I actually might measure them out so I get the exact amount on each side. So I'm going to tear that back to zero. And what are we going to add? Maybe let's just add, we'll add 100 grams. 100 grams of that one. And 100 grams of this one. It's not going to be much of a swirl, but I mean. Okay, so those are the blues and this is going to be the gold. I don't know. Maybe that's a bit too much. I'm, I'm hesitating here because last time I added way too much. It was like a 250 to 250 and then 500. And this time it's only 100 and 100. So there's still 800. So I might just do a little bit more. Oh, you're. You're screaming, I can hear you already. That should be about the same. Let me just pop this on the scales for a second. So 153, 157. That's pretty close to me. I'm happy with that because that's 300. And this is what, almost close to 800 because there is 1,090 grams in total. Okay, so we've got to get to coloring the gold so as per usual some rubbing alcohol into a container then add your mica now because there's 800 grams of this so i'm going to add um, 2.5 grams 
That seems like a lot, actually. Okay, so I haven't added the gold in there yet. And this is going to be the blue. I'm going to do about half of what I would normally, because I want it to be really strong. And then I'm going to do the same. Gold one done first. So this is the gold. It's really beautiful. Okay, so tip that in. This is the blue. Wow, that looks pretty cool. It's like moving around in there. Because it's sitting on the surface, because it's created a skin, the actual soap. And that's the blue. It's got like a beautiful glittery type shimmer to it. Absolutely gorgeous. And this is the aqua or sea mist. All right, so let's stir these in. Okay, now let's stir these ones in. Oh my goodness, look at that. That is gorgeous. That color is amazing. This is starting to thicken up, which is really good. I can, it's still very fluid, like you can see it coming off the stick, but there's a fine line in Melton and Paul where you've got like 30 seconds to do something um, before it goes from liquid to hard. It's just a matter of finding that right temperature. And sometimes it takes a little bit, you know, you can't always get it first go. I tried like 50 times to get my first swirl properly. 50 kilograms, that is. Like, you know, I got a, a half decent swirl and it was all about temperatures. But each base is different. So the base that you use will be different to the base that I use. Unless you're using the specific brand that I'm using. Okay, so this is getting a skin around the edges. But the center is very fluid, so let's check some temperatures here. Okay, so that's 118, which is 48. And that's 106, which is 41. And that's 105 or 106, which is 41 as well. So this is the hottest one. These are the coolest ones. So I'm just going to keep stirring. Sort of get to a point where I think I can tip them into the, the main one and it won't sort of do too much damage. So this is still very fluid. So I've got to cool it down. I can spray rubbing alcohol and that cools the, the top. Let's see, that's very still very hot as a container. And I think stirring them is also, you know, a major thing as well. It's like these are almost thickened up right now. That's quite thick. So I don't know how this is going to turn out. This could turn out to be a shocker or a home run. I just don't know. We've got to give it a go. All right. Okay, spray these. Give it a stir one more time. Yeah, see now these are thickened up, which is good because when I pour them into the gold, they'll be thick. All right, so here we go. The green's going in over this side. Like so. Well, half of it's still in the pot. Okay, and the blue's going in over this side. Hopefully that heated that up enough. All right, here we go. In the center. Oh, hope it gets out of the pot. No, it's wanting to stay in the pot. No, that's not what I wanted. That is not what I wanted at all. That failed miserably. Okay, so while uh, it was that they got too cold too quickly. See, they got stuck in there and I'm, I'm going to have to melt these down now. Look, I'm going to have to melt them down and pour them in over the top of this fluid gold and see what happens. 
Okay, so I've got these fluid again. And I'm just going to pour them in. Seriously. It's whatever thought that I had to make this actually work has not worked, so... Yeah, I'm going to have to pour them in from high. They're not actually popping. They're not actually passing the layer. So I've got to make a cut so I can pour it in into that cut. Okay, I'm going to melt down the rest of this gold and then I'm going to pour it in over the top. Okay, so I'm just going to give that a spray and see if I can make some sort of pattern here. I know what you're thinking, don't, don't, but it's okay. Okay, so normally when I finish, I spray, but because of the amount of mica that I've got in here, probably not a good idea because it's gonna, it's gonna make it move, but I'm gonna do it anyway, because why the hell not? Yeah, it's starting to move, but there's bubbles there I wanna get rid of. No, it's okay. That did not go as planned. The green and the blue seized up so quickly. You saw it when I was pouring it out. It came out in great big clumps. It's probably not in even half the soap. Won't know until tomorrow. Uh, but for you guys, it will be just a few moments. Fingers crossed. All right, moment of truth. So that's the top. It looks pretty good but i know what's inside it's gonna be horrible <laughs> worst worst possible case happened last night when it all came out in clumps but we'll get this unmolded and see what's inside Okay, so that's pretty gold. You can only see a little tiny piece of the blue. That's the clump that came down. And I'm sorry about the noise in the background. They're still working on the construction site. So I'm going to mark this out and then I'll cut them into bars. Okay, here we go. All right, this is it. Ready? Well, I would have liked that to have come down a lot further, but that does look good. Oh my goodness. I do like that. It's a nice little swirl in there. All right, let's see what else we got. Yep, yeah, that's another one. Nice. There's a little bit of the aqua starting to get down there. I 
It's not bad, actually. I don't mind the hole mostly at the top with these colours because it's only such a small amount. That blue is just absolutely gorgeous. It stayed the same colour. There we go. There's that majority of the green. With a nice little swirl in there. That was the big clump. So there's the blue clump. <laughs> That's massive. That's a great big blotch. It's certainly not a swirl. But that looks pretty gorgeous up there. So that looks nice. That's actually really nice too. See, the end pieces didn't really get anything. That's a really nice one. Don't know if the camera can actually pick that up or not, but that's really beautiful. I'll see if I can get some uh, close-up photos because I know the camera doesn't actually focus in really well. Yeah, okay, let's do the wrap up. So I was, I was thinking this was going to be a total disaster. And at some point, yes, it was, but not to the point where I would throw it away. So it's worked out pretty well in most cases, but only because I poured that remelted soap in over the top. Remember when I cut the line down the center and then I poured it in and that's all these swirls at the top here, which is probably what I should have done from the beginning. But it's good to know that from the time that you pour it into the pot to re-pour it, it has to be liquid. It can't be like a glob like I did. And that was the main issue here. And that's why you've got these clumps that have turned out with a big clump and then like a swirl above it. That's in the pot and that's a drop swirl. So in all, I'm really happy with the way this turned out, but the actual project itself failed. And my cutting skills are getting a little bit better. There's only about a mil between each one of those. I want you to let me know in the comments below if you like this color combination. Uh, I know some of you are gonna say, no, I hate it, but I'm really loving the gold. It sparkles and it, and it smells so good. It doesn't really matter what color it is, but I'd like to know from you what colors you would have chosen for coconut lime. So let me know in the comments below. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.